It's surprising to me that we've been in Japan for almost three years now and we've never introduced you to tempura yet. So today we're gonna go for tendon. You're absolutely gonna love this. Come, it's gonna be so delicious. Hey, I have a real quick question. Just coo coo coo, yeah. yeah. I love tempura and tendon like right. anybody else. It's great. But like, remember when on our community page we were like, hey, which one should we go for? It's just uh, it's a little bit uh, strange to me, huh? Yeah, let's come on. You're gonna like it. Guys, no. I gotta tell you, there is some Sagi Jokta helicopter stuff happening here right now. Simon's like Sagi Jokta helicopter isn't a word that anybody understands. Okay, but in we either understand either Korean it. or English or in any language apart from us two. Okay, well if Simon <laughs> Martinez speak, Sagi is when someone's being like insincere or like mm -hmm. it's a Korean word for right. like calling someone out. I don't remember how we came up with these words anymore. <laughs> Simon goes, I wanna do a video on tempura. Yes. And I said, I also wanna do a video on tempura, but there's this really cool, like, kind of Western style omurai shop that looks like it's European. And sure. Simon was like, Tempura! And I was like, omurai! And we went back and forth, and then we said, we could just put it up for vote we on could. the community page, and we could ask people which one they prefer. True. But all the comments are saying, hey, lots of people have already done omurai, not many people have done tempura. So the people that are more vocal about it are the ones that wind was up voting that for tempura. The it's vote? such a close thing. Was that the question? I'm bigger than you, so my vote counts for more than you. I'm at least 20% more of a vote well, than your little tininess. But my heart is so huge and caring. Just your boobs are huge. Gosh, I feel so small when I'm not holding the camera. You're so small no matter what. Such a small girl, always. I'd like to let you know that I am holding in my heart the fact that you're going for tempura, and I will hold this against you one day and be able to get some like leverage about going to like an arcade or something fun. I don't think that's part of the deal. It is. Yep, I think the new plan is going to be um, Martina goes shopping while Simon tries to figure out where we're going. <gasps> Whoa, guys, that seems like something I would definitely wear. I'm just going to keep shopping until he catches up to me. <gasps> so it was that way, he's but you're ready. pulling me away. Turns out he's ready. From the direction like I said we were going. Turns out he's on to me now. So we are both getting tendon today, which is a word that I actually don't like when I see it in English because it looks like tendon. Oh, you're right. You're going for a tendon shop. No, it's just like a bridge word. So ten is for tempura and don is for donburi, which is like a rice bowl. So it's a tempura rice bowl is exactly what we're getting. This place only has three options. I got the eel, Martina got the mushroom. The second one I think was shrimp and that's it. No customization. You could get a beer, you could get extra rice or miso soup, but you can't choose any other toppings whatsoever. You just sit here and eat it and love it. I'm trying to remember which one's which. Anago is from the lake. I don't remember which Minagi one's is which. from the ocean. Uh, uh, uh. That's probably not right. I hope there's a check mark on the screen right now going bing, 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 that I am correct. Oh, they're doing the old school writing of numbers. That's what this is. These are prices down here. One, three, eight, zero. So it's $13.80. But like, my brain, too empty food tummy to think of this, ducky. <laughs> This is pretty much Mortal Kombat from the Edo time period. Yeah. And the only thing I ever think of when I think of intense songs is Mortal Kombat. So intense. Right? That's like immediately yeah. when you want to fight someone, you go da -da 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 in your head and you immediately are like, Whoa. I gotta tell you, I have a lot of questions about these beans. What are these beans for? I've never seen these beans, right? Is it for putting water on? Do you put soup know. on it? Do you think it's tea? Yeah. Nobody explained the beans. I don't know what See, these beans are I feel like are every about. time we go to a, a Japanese restaurant, I feel like, okay, I've done my research, I know what I'm doing, I'm ready to convey to people, and then they just throw something out there that I'm sure is a big part of tradition. Beans! Oh, nobody ever told me. What are these two beans for? Are these smelly beans? Are these eating beans? I'm just gonna eat one. I'm gonna see what it's about. I don't know, I think you're supposed to put hot water on it. Do you think so? Yes. I think that we only have... You know what? Now I don't know. No, don't eat it. I'm just, just gonna wait. Google. Keep, no, keep why? looking. Why do I have why beans? beans? I have a dried bean in my, my glass. Japan. No. No. You can't Google the shit. So I'm committing to a theory. Every table has these bowls. Yes. And these bowls are the exact same pattern. I looked in the bowls next to me, and there are two beans in it. Look to the left of me. Other people also have these bowls, and they have broth in there. So I think they poured their tea into here. I'm gonna commit <gasps> and do it. All right. Let it sit for a bit. I poured tea on my beans. I would let it sit for a bit. 
up scalding hot. Okay, there are important things I need to tell you but cannot tell you right now, so I'm just gonna send it to you like telepathically. You're gonna listen to my inside voice. I know you can hear my thoughts right now, so I have something really important to tell you. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. Sorry, that wasn't it. Uh, the people beside us are Korean. Now I can't make fun of Simon using Korean words. Good, Simon didn't hear that last part. Hi. How do you to my mask? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a bad boy of deep fried goodness, aren't you? Ooh, get into my tummy. Look at that saucy looking rice. Ooh. Oh, me so hangry right now. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of that nago. That is a shower. Oh, man. Is that a deep fried egg? How did you keep it so soft and, and juicy? Oh, I can't wait for Not greasy, light, fluffy, nicely seasoned. That's what I want from tempura. Look at this massive bowl here. I got this huge piece of veal. I got two shrimp. I got some pepper here. I got some, what is that, squid? I'm not sure yet. It was just covered in this light sauce. You could smell the smokiness of the fry. Have you ever had a piece of tempura this big? I don't even know how to begin. It didn't happen. Mm. Mm. That's such a great combination of the fluffiness of the eel, the crunchiness of the batter. It's not too oily at all. It has great sweet and soy seasoning on it. Get a little bit of that rice. Mm. Now that is a comforting meal. You gonna see that? What is that? It's actually my first time to have um, nori that's been fried like this. I've had it before when it was wrapped around something, but I've never just had this on its own. It's great. It would be an amazing snack if they like served it at a movie theater. It's crunchy. It's salty. Got a little bit of that like um, MSG flavor that's on your lips afterwards. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome. isn't necessarily about how much batter you could put on. A lot of it is about temperature control. It's about moisture control. You want to put each item in the fryer just long enough that it pulls out some of the extra moisture from the item to enhance the flavor. You pull away the water and give a more concentrated flavor. So there's a lot of skill and timing and precision when it comes to making good tempura. It's not just battered as much as you can to throw it in the fryer. Very, very different than what I'm used to. Now there is a big difference between getting tendon and between getting tempura. First of all, as you mentioned before, tendon is served over rice. Mm. The reason for that is because the sauce drips down into the rice, giving it a flavor, and you've got the actual tempura on top. But when you go for just tempura, they usually serve it to you with different sauces. You might have salt, you might have wasabi powder, and you kind of dip it into that and eat it on its own. We've gone for tempura before, um, and it was a really nice place where you're getting piece by piece, and you're waiting like you go for sushi. This is different. So if you leave this sitting here too long, this is why this is a tough video, it'll get soggy, and we do not want that. So I'm just gonna peek a piece of food and uh, keep eating, don't you know? Mm. Seasonal fried mushrooms. Mm. Oh, I love oyster mushrooms. They always look kind of weird because they're all bunched together. Not the gnocchi ones that are tall with them, but the ones that look like coral. They almost, almost look like fans that open up, like the summertime mm -hmm. fans. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to describe it. Mm -hmm. Come on down here to these side dishes. So on this side, we've got a type of radish that's been pickled. Not like a huge daikon, but like a smaller one. We've had them before, Ducky, at other places in different parts of Japan that are like smoky tasting. And then over here we have ginger with what we think is burdock root. And this is definitely seaweed on the side, which you have sometimes for like when you drink beer and other alcohols. And here's the thing. We sat down here and you saw, we had no idea what those were. We just kind of guessed it. And we just started tasting it. We're like, I think that's what it is. And it may not actually be what it is, to this exact conversation I'm having with you. But the point is, is you just gotta try stuff. Like, you don't come to a country and go, I suddenly have all the knowledge. No, guys, you gotta come here, you gotta eat it and go, 
I think this is ginger. And then someone later on will tell you, no, that's potato. And you go, gosh, I was wrong. But Who confuses ginger with potatoes? I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't be afraid to learn and don't be afraid to make mistakes. You don't need to come here and be the expert of the culture, okay? I like my potato ginger. One thing to note also with the side dishes, this isn't something that you cake on top of your meal. They have a small little dish for you as a side dish. Put your stuff over there and bite on it from time to time as a palate cleanser rather than kind of like a seasoning on top of your food. Very different. That was a delicious meal, but I have a story I have to share with you. Come join me in the alleyway. It's a dark story. It's a scary story. Maybe just in time for Halloween. So a little while ago, uh, Simon and Dan and I all went to Fukuoka and we shot some great video. And on the way home, we stopped for tempura near the airport, which was amazing but we ordered like probably 15 pieces of tempura which was a really bad idea and i forgot that with my eds anything that's overly greasy really really fatty tonkotsu ramen or really really fatty piece of beef or perhaps 15 pieces of deep fried tempura they don't settle too well and i said you know what well that was a mistake we got in a taxi because we had just missed the bus and i was feeling real shaky then we hit traffic not just any kind of traffic, guys, the kind of traffic that backs you up inside of a tunnel. We were in a tunnel at a total standstill as sweat was pouring down my face and I was physically concentrating as hard as I could. And I looked outside and I thought, well, I have a couple options. Number one, I can just get in my pants and then I have to sit in it for the next 45 minutes. Or I open up the car door and I just take a shit on the road but then every car will painstakingly and slowly go past me with their phones out going, oh, YouTuber this. They didn't know it was a YouTuber was gonna end up on YouTube anyways. Or option number three, open the car door, hop the emergency barrier, and kick open the exit that actually leads out into the tunnel. Oh no, my story of shame. <laughs> and then that was it, and it was fine, and everything was okay. Am I clear? Hey, you're clear. Well, well, okay, option number four. Ooh pinch it off like the boss that I am and hold it for as long as possible. And I did. I sat in that car, drenched in sweat, head to toe, couldn't listen to music, couldn't talk to Simon. Simon was holding my hands like I was pregnant, which I was, I was pregnant with a food poopy. And he held my hand, he's like, girl, you can do this. And we already told the taxi and the first exit we got on, it was just wrapped with traffic. We finally got off. We finally got to the first convenience store we found. The door swung open. I pulled out my cane. I hobbled my way into the place. I opened up the door. I'm like, where's the toilet? I hobbled my way. I saw the toilet. And just as I reached for the handle, some girl literally zipped past me, went inside and slammed the door in my face. And I was like, well, Martina, you've got two options. You can keep your pants here outside of the door, or you could be that person who passed on someone's washroom door. Anyways, I knocked on the door until she left, and it was a good thing I did, because I had really, real bad poops, guys. Just water. Point is, today you didn't keep your pants. Not yet. So we'll update you later on, probably in less than an hour, if I have had the Shipocalypse 2018. That's my story. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>